Poo here, and today I'll show you how to install the data ribbon cable that came with your Acer Nitro 5. The cable should be in a package similar to this. First, shut your computer down and unplug any wires connected to it. Flip it over and remove the screws. Remove the cover with your preferred tool. I personally use a no credit card or anything I can find around that's pretty thin and strong. Once the bottom cover is removed, unplug the battery cable before going any further to help prevent any potential problems. I'll be installing this drive once the cable is in place. It's a 2TB SATA SSD that I picked up on Prime Day for around $109. Remove the four screws holding the drive caddy. Carefully lift the flap located here. It doesn't take much strength to do it, so just be careful when you lift it. It's kind of delicate. If you do happen to break these pins, you could be in some possible trouble. It's pretty sure it's really hard to replace. Take your cable and lay it just inside the flap. The gold pins should make contact. You can confirm the correct orientation by making sure that the blue side is face up. Once seated, push down on the flap. You'll feel a slight resistance. This is what it should look like. There is some sticky tape on the bottom of the underside of the cable that you can use if you would like. Next, I'll get the caddy and put the drive in position. Make sure this is correct as if it's backwards, the caddy will not fit into position on the laptop. Use four screws to mount the drive to the caddy. The drive that I have did not come with screws, so you would need size M3 by 3. Before mounting the caddy, I will make sure that the connector will fit correctly. Everything looks good, so now I will return the removed screws into the caddy. Once that's done, connect the battery, replace the bottom with the screws, and you are done. Next, I'll format the drive and run a few benchmarks. 